Cutting or sanding metals and other materials can produce combustible airborne dust or fumes, which can ignite or be inhaled. That's why it's safer to do this work on a wet downdraft table. This machine captures and filters hazardous particles from the workspace. A powerful blower pulls the flammable dust down through the openings of the grid tabletop. Then, a continuous spray of water extinguishes the dust and washes it down into a reservoir at the bottom, where a filter removes it. Because stainless steel doesn't corrode, this computer-guided laser cuts the components that come into contact with water out of stainless steel sheets. Workers pass each part through a wide belt sander to smooth out rough edges left by the cutting. When the part exits the sander, they thoroughly brush off the metal dust. Then they bend the part into the required shape using a computer-guided machine called a press brake. A welder then fuses the parts, constructing the machine in sections. This is the table section that contains the tabletop and the washdown system that processes the combustible dust. Workers clean all the welds with a machine that uses a combination of chemicals and electricity. They brush on a protective coating to make the welds corrosion resistant. Then they wash the unit with soap and water. In the reservoir at the bottom, they install the water inlet filter. When the blower sucks the dust under the tabletop, spray nozzles douse it with water. The dusty water flows down into the reservoir, where this filter traps the dust before a pump sends the water back up to the spray nozzles. To ensure that no water leaks out, a worker caulks this entire section of the machine with marine-grade sealant. On the left side, they mount the housing for the mist eliminator filter. It captures water droplets from the airstream before the blower exhausts it. To that, they attach the blower housing. It has a side opening for the blower and a top opening for a silencer that muffles the noise of the blower exhaust. Now they install the blower. It consists of an electric motor turning a blower wheel. The resulting centrifugal force sucks air through the machine and out the exhaust. They insert the filter into its housing. The filter is polyester, so it's mold resistant, which is critical given that it gets wet. Now they install the water tree, a stainless steel wall with baffles that make the dusty water cascade into the reservoir. These probes ensure there's always the optimum amount of water circulating through the machine. They send an alert to the control panel if the water level in the reservoir rises too high or drops too low. After installing a plumbing connection for the washdown system, they install walls to contain the dust over the work surface and the silencer over the blower exhaust. Then they complete the assembly of the washdown system by connecting pipes with spray nozzles to the plumbing connection. Finally, workers install the tabletop made up of two steel grates. The blower sucks the dust through the grate's openings. You can cushion the tabletop with a rubber grid mat. When you press the start button on the control panel, the blower begins drawing air and the nozzles begin spraying water. This demonstration with the smoke machine shows the powerful downdraft that gives industrial workers a breath of fresh air.